God, my friends are just going to be like, oh, look, I can't do it. I can't fucking do it. Okay, Grand Tree Snow 7. Um, delete. Delete. Delete from M. Yep. Thank you. Goodbye. Wow. Wow. Fucking wow. <sighs> so they are going to this. My understanding is they're going to turn the servers off for Gran Turismo Sport sometime November 2024. 2025, we're going to get the game we were supposed to get, the real Gran Turismo 5 console uh, game, you know, the one we were promised that whole, for years we were told. Gran Turismo 5, yeah, the new, the next, the next version of Gran Turismo. Ray tracing, look at the environments. Yeah, you know, they really looked fucking good, but then once you understand that Sony and Polyphony lie like the day is long, okay, really, they lie like kids like candy, man. They they lie. They the only thing there's on, there's only one thing important to them anymore. It used to be producing a good game where gamers would be, you know, bragging that they were playing Gran Turismo. They used to care that they uh, about the game they made. They don't care about the game. The games themselves, they sit down. I imagine it takes a fucking supercomputer. How to milk the most money, how to make the, the, uh, the monetary environment in the game so unfriendly, how to make the fucking roulette wheel thing so bad, so disappointing. I, I deleted it from my console again. You know, I deleted it, and my friends were like, come on, I want to play, I want to play 7. You don't want to play fucking 7. You don't. You want a good driving experience. We own all the tracks. We have all the cars. We have all, we have, every car has a custom livery on it. I mean, right now, Gran Turismo Sport, for me, is Gran Turismo. GT7 is like the bad person in your life that every time you try to have a conversation, every time you try to interact with Gran Turismo 7, it's a disappointing experience. I just got through talking about how manipulative the game is. And I go in, I'm, okay, fuck it. I'll just play one with a controller. I'll get these things done that my friends have already done. And as soon as I start to drive the car, I understand what TJ said about the controller being over manipulated. You know what I mean? You could crash. You could do anything you fucking want using the controller. It's weird. It really is. It's horrifyingly bad. It tells me, okay, we want you to collect these cars. I, but I, I don't have the, the Nürburgring open yet. I don't have the Nürburgring open yet. Okay? The amount of money, time, and effort I sunk into my fucking gaming systems so that I could just go sim race... Um, I mean, they really are pushing me towards PC. Sony is, okay? Not the games that are available on PC. I could care less about those games. They look terrible. They look terrible. Don't say they don't. They do. They look bad, okay? That's one of the reasons I don't like playing them, all right? As simple as that. I want an environment that gets me that makes me feel like I'm out there driving. That's what I'm looking for. That's all we want as, as sim racers. Give us all the cars. Give us all the tracks. Quit fucking around with this nightmare shit you think you're doing creating some kind of goddamn game and just give us the cars, give us the tracks, and make the environment look better every year. Those racetracks are not going to change. Suzuka is going to be Suzuka for the next 50 years. Okay? Imola, you know, Spa, you... you all of the tracks that we have, okay? The Nürburgring, right? The Nordschleif. Always going to look the same. Always going to fucking be there. When they dole that shit out like this to you, like, uh, oh no, you got to do this and then you got to do that and then you got to do this and then you got to do that. 
And it only takes a couple of those for me, like lock picking in a fucking video game. That is the laziest thing you can put in your fucking video game is lock picking. Oh, here. You're not picking a lock. You're not even fake picking a lock. And it's the same thing with this game. Here, we want you to do this. I go there. I don't have the car that they want. So I can't, I don't have the money to buy the car that's, that they want me to have. And so I'm stuck. What do I have to do? I have to go fucking farm anyway. I still have to go and farm. There is zero, zero reason to play Gran Turismo. If you have Gran Turismo Sport, there is no reason to ever purchase Gran Turismo 7 or be involved with it in any way, okay? It will only be a terrible experience for you. If you have Gran Turismo Sport, enjoy yourself until they turn the fucking servers off. And even then, I will be playing what's available offline, okay? Gran Turismo 7 for me was the biggest disappointment in gaming in 10 years. And that is the honest to God truth, in 10 years. 